Hello there everyone and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod last time around. We took out the French, so the French are no longer part in the game. And as it currently stands, we only are one victory can one victory region away from victory, and so we're gonna head over to Great Britain right away and go for what I think might be one of the biggest battles we're going to have. So the British have sent all their forces. We've got three full stacks ready to attack Cardiff. And for that we've got the Crown Prince Willem of Prussia is going to come across the bridge to attack here together with this reinforcement army. Going to bring in some tanks. Uh, we're going to put a general here just in case. And we're also going to bring this army across. So we're going to get them and land them right here next to Cardiff. Boom. Now their part on the fight. And then we're going to have the Prince of Prussia leading across the bridge here. I don't know what that... I don't know what where that sound comes from. It's... It comes out like in normal Napoleon as well. And I've no idea what it is. Like sometimes it just appears. And disappears. Hmm. An odd noise anyways. Right, so we've got all of that set up. Go ahead and send the ships back. And yeah, there's some other moves I need to make. The fleet was on its way. The thing about this fleet though is I don't need all of it. And this fleet is gonna be a lot quicker if I just kinda send the big one the big boys. And I'm sure with just the six I should be able to sink. Uh the Russian navy, even though they're two ships more, but I have the range and the firepower, and then the smaller ones. Not entirely sure what to do with them, but uh, we've got them right there in a secondary fleet that can come and follow up after this one. I mean, this one, look at the speed this one makes it in two turns. Barely, like two and a half turns. This one takes three turns to get to the place, so really good. Um... I mean, there's some net remnants here, but I don't think I'm going to bother chasing off these. All we're going to do is, of course, we're going to use Paul von Hindenburg and his army and strike directly at the center of the Bolsheviks and win that way. And then, once those two battles are done, this battle here and that one over there, it's uh, just a simple case of walking everything over to London because they barely have anything here. Notice they have anti-tank snipers now. Um, but then just walking over here and taking London and then we are victorious. With this, let's see if this works. I'm hoping they actually stay and fight. <laughs> they will. Wonderful. So we bring in a total of, I mean, I've got so many reinforcements coming in to this army. 2,000 to start off with, followed by 6,200. British start off with about 2,500, and they're going to bring in uh, 5,500. So it's quite equal, in a sense, just that the British start with more, and I'm going to bring in more troops. I'm going to bring in about 700, 800 men more, while the British start with about 600 men more than what I do. They've got tons of artillery and they're gonna make the uh, Indians do the brunt of this fight. They've got tons of Indian battalions. I don't know why they've spammed those guys. Also New Zealand battalions, a few Highlanders, uh, Anti-tank snipers have turned up. That's gonna not be good for my tanks. I'm bringing in a few. I mean, we've lost tons of tanks all over the place. But we're gonna bring in two captured tanks. Ta ta captured tank groups. And then one of our own. So it's gonna be three tanks on the field. Tons of cannons. Especially on the enemy side. 
This is gonna be one heavy fight. And yes, with that said, let's not linger here and go right into Cardiff. Who could have thought that Cardiff would be the epicenter, the final showdown here to see who will uh, control the world. One thing I forgot before going into battle is, of course, we want to make sure we send in the right troops to the battle. So let's go ahead and organize that. I I think we're gonna start tanks, obviously, and then I don't know about the gas is quite interesting, so we might want to have gas coming in pretty soon as well. But I'm gonna need a lot of infantry because I'm gonna I'm gonna send in a lot of these guys to die. Um, infantry, 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 infantry. I don't think I need any more machine guns, so we'll put them last. I need big groups of infantry to come in. So that was set up that one. Tanks, tanks. Good, good. Gas. I already got gas in the other armies coming in. So let's set it up that it's infantry that's coming in. And this one's fine. Oh yeah, the general shouldn't come in here then. We'll put another infantry there. Or we can do that. Looks nice. Looks nice. We'll push the general even further down the line, shall we? He's the very last one to come in. Same with this. Can push the machine gun. And the sniper. Same with over here. So that looks nice. We'll get a load of infantry uh, to tanks and infantry to come in to aid this army. We'll send our general away as soon as possible. Looks nice. Let's fight the battle. I want as many troops to join as possible, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send the general away. We've set up bombs here. I'm not going to retreat these guys. I'm just going to have them stand there and die. The enemy has put a sapper there. I do have a small group that I just can run over, because otherwise I'll forget the bomb and I'll just have something more important die on it. And then we'll move into the middle and just absolutely destroy each other. With that said, let's go ahead and start. So we're going to start by sending this guy to trigger the bomb. And then the rest of the troops will be set up to advance on the enemy. In case my advance here fails, I do have two machine guns set up to uh, deal with the enemy that's oncoming. And we got plenty of artillery. I also placed some of this barbed wire here to defend us. Let's go around it. So we can go ahead and blow up the sapper bomb before it hits something important. As I keep the troop here, you can see the British are concentrating their troops coming this way, which hopefully means the more of them are going to explode as that happens, as that reinforcements are coming. Hmm. We weren't able to trigger their bomb. Go on, where are they hidden their bomb? Should be right there. Fine! We, we're not going to commit suicide then. We'll just have to walk around you. I think our bombs might be triggering soon. Look at the concentration of British troops coming this way. This bomb might go off any second and it's, it's right there. And then the second one... Looks like the entire army is going to walk onto that one. Hopefully the game doesn't crash for because it's going to be such a high number of uh, casualties setting off there. I hope it didn't like... I for that I didn't forget to set up the bombs here. I might, I might have actually forgotten to set the bombs up. That's disappointing. Nope. There we go. It went off. Well, at least one of them. Pretty darn spectacular. Not as... That spectacular as I thought. There's supposed to be one here as well. 
Okay, just one bomb then. It's pretty spectacular. Oh, there goes the <laughs> second one. Oh, it destroyed all those units. Somehow this guy survived. Hmm. Odd. One guy managed to survive. He was like in the middle of the bomb as he went off. Rather odd. I don't know why we didn't be able to set this one off. Although it was kind of a small group that moved to uh, set it off. Can I just go ahead and have a little bit better spread on the artillery on these guys? And can you actually start firing? Got loads of... Oh, and you know what? You should actually be firing on this. All hope is lost, sir. Lums this battle is almost done. Bunch of stupid cannons. I don't want that to come through. These Indian troops are not even uh, trying to shoot these guys. Let's see. There's the melee fight starts. Stabbed. It's not going well here. Now they're starting to shoot each other. It's like a single unit. I want to advance. I want to get that the enemy's artillery position. I'm going to have one bayonet charge. The rest is going to be sent forward. All the artillery will now refocus their efforts on blasting the enemy over here. You continuously con Oh, we got a tank coming in. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna s see if we can set it up to so shoot down at the enemy coming through over there. My infantry is advancing. We have contacted the Indians over here. Running ring, hello! And stab them. They fight on pretty bravely here. They are more veteran than my troopers. But I outnumber them quite a lot. Oh shit, that's a lot of cavalry. Probably want to stop before that destroys us. There's one guy left over here, and then there's nine over there. It's this snipers, and the, it's the anti-tank snipers. Two units of anti-tank snipers, supported by Our mortar fire. Yeah, the cavalry was able to overrun the troops over there. These guys don't even bother fighting these anymore as they've decided to shoot for the cavalry instead. Doesn't pay off for that guy, they got strangled. You might actually want to just go ahead and fight the guys that are coming up behind you and strangling you. we got mortar over there, let's send two units to deal with that. Rest forward. Kinda see where the bombs went off. Tons of dead troops. Oh, the anti tank snipers went in for the melee charge, did they? And that's how that went for them. With the general joining in, or one of the generals, I should say. Got another one over there. Let's see, it's a tank set up. The thing is, I want him to kind of just spray bullets this way. And as he does that, he's just going to clear away all we the houses. General, now they must break. Wonderful. I want to get into town with most of the troops. I kind of want to hold the enemy over there. Just so that... Uh, as my artillery... Focusing its fire over there. These cannons need to be moved forward to reach the enemy. 
but I want to like destroy as much of the town as possible. I want there to be absolute chaos. It's good that I selected most infantry units to come in as reinforcements because uh, we've played pretty fast and loose with our infantry. Let's get some infantry into town. Machine gun tanks. Should be able to fire through here. Kinda hoping, hoping they were destroying some of the ass houses. What if I can put you in a better angle, maybe? Maybe not. Do I reach? My heavy artillery doesn't reach, but it does reach this part right here. Probably is plenty enough. Oh, we have lost quite a lot here. I didn't realize that. There's only two cannons left to be moved. Disappointing. Maybe not so, because I've got gas ready to be used. Chlorine gas ready to be unleashed on the British troops. Let's get closer here. Good, good. We're blasting this. Hope some houses have been broken in the process. This Welsh town will be reduced to nothing. Open fire, if you please. Gas canister ready to set up. And infantry moving into town. Yeah, it's only one of the tanks firing. As shots go through into the units here. I was hoping all four would just fire straight through and just tear down all the houses that were in the way. No other enemy reinforcements coming in. Continue to drag the cannons towards the enemy. Continue to blast this. This cannon does reach. And that one should definitely be targeting enemies all the way over here. We might want to move these ones as well, especially since I've gone ahead and destroyed most of these enemy guns. Remember something important, the bomb was right here. And I have the cannon move over it right now. Why aren't you shooting? Oh, now the gas is coming in. Right, let's have the troops. Tighten the noose on the British. March in. If you don't want to fire there, then get closer. Okay, we've got another gas setting up. They're going to be cornered there, although I don't have that many troops to corner them with. Still something. We do have a nice wall up there that would be nice to take. Let's continue with the troops through the, the town. Up. And I kind of want to take this house as well. And get some infantry up next to the tanks as they're slowly pushing through the village. Might also just want to kill off a few of the... Um, a few of my own infantry units. Just so we can get new replacements. We've taken a building, sir. That's a lot of cavalry. Might want to go ahead and shoot them. Get both the cannons through here. Nice hole we've opened up. Do you reach? Yes. We might as well deploy you here then. Ooh. These guys getting overrun by British cavalry. Mounted infantry. So, uh, riding over my units. We were able to take out their artillery position. That's good. Or maybe not charge them. 
We're gassing a lot here. Can we get the machine guns going out of those tanks? Thank you. Get this unit up there. We have killed their Join the fight. Sir. Now they must break. Very nice. Can you go ahead and shoot down that cavalry unit so I can kind of get some of these, bring these troops to bear? Is the British? Why don't you charge in? The smaller groups should charge in. Should destroy them. Oh, they're concentrating. Concentrating so many of their troops here. Plus with the gas coming in. Fortunately for the British, they haven't deployed. They haven't equipped their troops with masks. I wish they want a mask mandate right now. Oh, they're all going for the house. Let's see, my long range cannons. I kind of want to blow my own house out. Bomb is right there, just so we remember. Let's see if we can join. Oh, you made it all the way over there. You Our guys made it all running. the way over there. Still, pretty good amount of troops in the house. Oh, the Indian infantry is charging my tanks. Counter charge, quickly, quickly, save my tanks. He's fighting around the tanks. Gas being poured down upon our own house. That's what I like to hear. That's why you came all the way to cross the channel. To have everyone die. Cannon set up as quickly as possible. I need more reinforcements to send into the fray. Oh no, I forgot to tell my cat my uh, tank crews to retreat out of the uh, melee. So now I only want one guy. However, I do still have, I do still have captured British tanks that I can bring in. Open fire, open fire, blast the enemy, destroy them. Oh, they're breaking. Charge. The British have had enough. I thought this was going to be more of a, a bigger... I definitely thought this was going to be a bigger battle. I don't think they managed to bring in all their troops, did they? Can this really be it? Did I just wipe out something like, what, 7,000 men Within 15 minutes, this <laughs> this is the same kind of uh, questions the uh, actual World War One generals put to themselves. Wait, did I just wipe out 6,000 men in 15 minutes, or my my own men in this case, uh, or in most of their cases, they would get a clear view of having lost so many men. But there we have it. A British army is sent away. And we might just have won the Battle of Britain. Here's the result of the battle. And as I thought, the British decided to pull out before they were finished. Uh, sounded a bit weird. As we can see, there was only about the 200 men difference. In the battle, we lost about 1,800 men. I mean, in the deployment zone, we had about 200 men more than the enemy. We lost 1,800 men, while the enemy lost 4,000 men. Means that I have a 6,000 men remaining, and the enemy's got 3,700 
roughly remaining. Lots of units, as you can see here, were destroyed during the battle. A tank was destroyed over here. And that was about it. So, one British army fully destroyed. Uh, and then the other ones... Oh, this one never even sent any troops in. How about that? We're going to bring in everyone, as best as possible anyways. And then, um, I guess the British are on their way then to retreat back to... Why did I split this ship off? What was he going to bring over? Oh, he has that small group of the gifts. Right. So that's done. I guess they're going to pull back. I, I mean, that is pretty sensible. To pull back and try and fortify the capital. Or am I going to have to go up into the hills and fight them? Definitely going to need a lot more infantry. Currently can't recruit any here, so we'll have to bring that across channel. I guess I just shouldn't throw them into the meat grinders I've, that's I've done here. Um, what was the other fight I was thinking about? There was another fight. Oh yes, you can see uh, Bolsheviks. But given, I think we'll move... Mm, do I f Can I fit that battle in here as well? Or should I drag it on and make another video? Puts more views in my pocket. Um, Was ihr? I don't know. Etwas? Do... Does he have moves to attack? He does. He does. Certainly does. I guess... We c mm, 15 minutes. No, I think we'll end it here. Even if it's, uh, it turns out to be a short video, at least I've made one. Right. Um, yes. There's, because I've got a lot of stuff at work, I think we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of shorter videos here. And then, once the holidays are over, we can go back to normal, a normal schedule. We can uh, work on videos in the same way I've done before. Right now, I don't have much saved up, so I kind of just need... To put some out there and it might be easier digestible these shorter ones quicker ones a little bit disappointed in battle I was hoping this was gonna be a, an all-out battle we we're gonna be destroying Cardiff intensely um, pretty good fight though we got gas we got tanks got charges and we got the sapper bombs blowing tons of people out so all in all, that's going to be a pretty sick replay at the end of this video. But with that said, I'm going to end it right here. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye. Oh, man, my running.